turn this way. Hey everybody, welcome back to Pawpaw Sammy and Allie Bugs channel. This is my dad, Pawpaw Sammy. Got a couple questions for you, dad. What if I wanted to start gardening and I've never grown anything in my life? Where do I start? Mass production squash. With some dirt. We're talking food oh. now. Uh, long range would be peas. They grow fast, easy to grow, extremely easy. You can try some corn. Corn's a little shaky sometimes, but your squash and your peas are fast producers. Carrots, radishes, stuff like that, bell pepper. But basically, your bell pepper and, and carrots is, is, is a side dish. If you want food, go for squash, corn, and peas, like the Native Americans did. Right, I agree with that. So that's gonna bring and produce the most calories and the most nutri nutritionally dense food in the smallest space possible, right? right? So you can combine those three crops. Oh yeah, you plant your corn, grow the peas right in, in, in between the corn, it'll climb up the corn, and plant your squash around it. It's got the little stickers, and it don't stop uh, squirrels and rabbits and all, but it'll slow them down. It does slow them down. In fact, let's walk down here. I'm going to show everybody how I did kind of a, a rendition of the Native Americans' indigenous planting. You guys can see right here how I did zucchini planted with my non-GMO Native American corn. And as you can see, every few steps you've got a zucchini plant just tucked up in the corn right here folks. yes sir this is a thornless blackberry bush we uh, planted last year in the no-till when you go up your blackberries if you want a sweet berry you touch it and very gently do this if it don't come off leave it alone because it's not ripe if it is really ripe the minute you turn it like this it come off in your hands wow i mean don't jerk and snatch just turn it gently that's all you got to do are they sweet, Nanny? Sweet berry every time. Savannah, did you see that? Mm -hmm. That thing. Have you been watering this bush? No, sir. I do not water any of my plants in the front of the yard. You know why, everybody? Deep watering towers, folks. Oh yeah. Oh. So Look. deep watering towers. Those blueberries are coming on. Yes, sir. That's a, a second year blueberry bush. So I don't tote water. You got vinegar? From way up here. Yes, sir, I do. What put should I put on there? A tablespoon of vinegar and a gallon of water and pour it around that bush and it'll take off. It needs acid. Okay, so I will definitely do that this afternoon. It but needs, it, 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 it really does need acid, right? Here. Okay. So you guys, want like my dad just asked, do you water this? No, I planted it in a no-till, heavy mulch situation right here, and I did a, a deep watering technique. It sure got a lot of berries on it. Yeah, it does. Is that one for the house? Uh, no, sir. I picked this up at a local nursery last year and planted it. Well, it's loaded with berries. Mm -hmm. It's a first-year production this year. And, and that'll be your next year berries. Okay, so you said this year, at the end of the production season, he said any of these vines that are bearing, I need to cut those off at the base, and these brand new ones down here that don't have any berries, leave those, and those will be my production vines for next year. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. They're not quite ready. I pulled some the other day. I pulled this vine. See, guys? Down? Daddy, that goes down four foot. No, no, how deep did you go down under the bush? I only went about a shovel full. Should I go deeper? Yeah, yeah. because I, I have dug down that deep under mine and found potatoes. Oh, I bet there's, that's four foot deep. Well, they don't tell you how, how, how deep did you plant your potatoes when you plant them? Um, I went down about two inches and put the slips. Been about six. That, uh, that way they'll start. They go under the roots. Oh, I didn't know that. That's okay. So when should I pull them? Because some are not ready. Well, I'd pick the ones that wilted down, especially the ones where the bugs are getting on them. Okay. I'd get them out of there. Okay, so go ahead and pull those out. Yeah, and, and that would give your, your healthy plants room, more room to grow. Well, that's a lot of potatoes. Yeah, it is. It's a huge amount of potatoes. Out, out of my little patch, I got like seven pounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to pull about 300 pounds of potatoes from that. I don't know how many, but there's a bunch of them there. Yeah, so this is the remainder of my winter garden, Daddy, like my winter vegetables. Kale and, um, well, different types of kales and collard greens are here. And then, of course, the chickens are cleaning out this last area for me. They're going to go to their coop soon. That's a pretty little patch of corn. Yeah, so tell them what it is. It's, it's corn. Yeah, but it's white corn. Oh. <laughs> it makes tortillas. 
Well, now, next question. I'm not familiar with it. Can you eat it like sweet corn? No, sir. It's dent corn. Oh, dent corn. Oh, okay. Cornmeal. Yes, yeah, sir. It's cornmeal. Okay. That's pretty. It is pretty, it's isn't healthy. it? Actually, I have no idea. It's just wild native. I tend to let my native plants come up. There's a purpose for all of them, so I try not to work against nature. I know what you're already going to tell me. Sam, I need to come take all these small plants out of the bottom of this fig tree. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you do. You need to cut them back. I knew he was going to tell me that. Yeah. All that's doing is sucking the sap off these. All right. I'll get that done. Maybe not today because it's getting awfully hot fast out here. <laughs> here <going>. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know. It is. So I'm running the tomatoes a here. Tablespoon of bacon, a tablespoon of cooking oil. In a gallon of water and spray that. Yeah, I know. That that that'll kill that kill the insect. It also make the plant resistant to uh, fungus. Fungus. Yeah, because I always you I don't know I if it's my plants are? tomatoes are beautiful. Yes, yeah, sir. I keep it mixed. If I see one leaf, I hit it. Yeah, I hit it. I'm thinking, Daddy, that I have a really hard time growing um, this plant out here. Uh, what is this? Uh, really hard time growing eggplant in this garden. To this day, I've never successfully harvested an eggplant. I don't know if it's my clay soil or if I'm just getting to the point where the soil's amended enough to, you know, to do that. Now, this is a small patch of sweet corn right Please here. Please like, comment, and subscribe, guys, to Paul Sammy's channel. <laughs>